we're gonna take a look at the R295 wheel and the ATSR hub or AT Sim Racing profiles that'll work for this wheel. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to VRS, Ray here. Our collaboration and partnership with ATSR has been months in the working, and we are really happy that when you get this wheel, you'll have some really cool features coming to you. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take a look at how to install these features, as well as some of the really cool features you'll get out of the box, and some things we think you'll really enjoy. So let's get to it. All right, so now what you're looking at now is, you'll see on the left side of the screen, I have my Discord channel. Now, the reason why you're gonna use Discord is where you're gonna get all of the new releases and updates that are updated for this wheel. We're gonna do the best we can to make sure that we get all of the current and new updates that Alex brings to ATSR. However, there are gonna be things that he may bring that come out super fast that we may not have a chance to get uploaded on our site. So I would definitely recommend that if you have Discord, you wanna make sure that you keep it up to date and you can check ATSR for any of the new items that he launches, specifically for the R295 wheel or any other peripherals we have or that other companies may have as well. But that being said, what you're gonna first wanna do is again, outside of looking on the vrs.racing website, which will have some of these profiles loaded there so you can get your real wheel up and running regardless of whether you get on Discord and use his ATSR hub. But if you want to get all of the advanced features, which I would highly recommend, you're gonna to wanna to install it. So we'll go through it really quickly here. What you're simply going to do is you're gonna go and get on his Discord channel. We'll provide a link to that. You're gonna see releases ATSR hub. You're gonna simply download the latest version. From there, you're gonna see where it says ATSR LED profiles. You're gonna click there, and you will eventually see the R295 will be located among all of these devices. The reason why you don't see it right now is because I'm running a beta preview of it, but really soon when this wheel comes out, you'll have this profile as well. So what you would simply do is click on the specific item that you are using, which will be the R295 wheel. From there, it'll take you to another sub page, which will download the latest profile. From there, once you do that, all you're gonna do is you're gonna go into the downloads folder, you're gonna see the hub, you're gonna extract the hub, and in there you will see a few different items. If you click on README, you will see a litany of directions on how to do this from scratch. It's not hard, it's actually quite simple, but he does include directions if you wanna install it yourself. In addition to that, it's very easy. Simply, this first file, this needs to be cut and dropped into the SimHub folder. So typically it's gonna be in your local disk, program files x86, you'll scroll down till you see SimHub, and in this folder, what you typically do is you scroll all the way down, get to an empty part, right click and hit paste. Now I'm not gonna paste because I'm running a beta preview that is more advanced than this one, but once you drop that in, you're simply gonna now just open up SimHub. So let's get to SimHub and I'll show you what to do with that other file that you imported that will have the LEDs. Okay, so now we're in SimHub. And as you can see here, we've got SimHub open. I am highlighted on the ATSR hub itself. Once you download this into the SimHub folder and make sure you do this while SimHub is closed, once you refresh it, you're gonna see a couple options to turn it on and to also add it into the side window that you see here, make sure you say yes, because you'll wanna be able to have access to it at any particular given point in time. From there, once you have this up, you have two options. One, you're gonna to wanna to add your device. You're gonna to wanna to add your R295. By doing so, you get these options here, which are all of the buttons and encoders that you can turn on and turn off in default lighting. I'll be honest, once you start using the profiles that we've created as part of ATSR, then you'll really get to see how much better it is. So what you can do is I'm going to go ahead and turn off everything to the default colors. So as you can see, this is the default colors that you get here. You get the ATSR R295 profile, which will come standard. What you now see is a preview of the brand new uh, LED profile that is specifically for this wheel. You will get various color schemes and gradients that you can use. This is the default theme that you see here. This profile will come with, again, every single iRacing car, as well as profiles to make sure that you get LEDs and telemetry and everything for all of the other sims. So you will get support for every other sim that you use, but again, this is the standard theme. While you're in SimHub, all you're gonna do is click on Edit Profile, 
And then you'll see there will be a bunch of different effects that you can use. So you'll have different idle behaviors, you'll have different when the game is running behaviors, you'll have different color groups and background lighting that you can use. As you can see in here, currently we have on the VRS theme gradient, but you do have other ones here like all red that you can use if you want this to be all red. You do have other gradient themes that you can use in here, the horizon theme and so forth. So there will be different themes that you can run that will come installed with this device and will be a standard profile that you'll be able to use. It'll come with different, again, background lighting, different button push effects. So when you push a button, it highlights. You'll have different effects when you're in the game. You'll have the telemetry lights. You have the flag indicators and all of those things that you would come to expect in 2025 and further. So that really will give you some features when you rotate a thumb encoder up or down, you will see that the colors change as well as if you rotate the top, it will just change the top three. So again, you get these really cool pulsing and lighting effects. You get the kit feature on the lights. And again, this is something that'll come standard with every R295 wheel. Now let's take a look at the ATSR hub because I think that's something you're really going to enjoy and I think it's going to be something very beneficial to everybody. So let's transition to the ATSR hub. What we're first going to do is this is the standard profile that will come with your wheel. We're going to switch to ATSR R295 V1.0. Now, when this profile comes, it's likely going to say default profile because again, it will be the default profile. But again, this is just a beta. The 1.0 profile will now start matching with what we call or what he calls ATSR hub. ATSR hub has all of the different features. And again, it will match a multitude and plethora of different devices. In fact, I use it for button boxes and ambient lights and uh, DDUs and all of these great features. And we believe at VRS bringing you the latest features that are going to make your life even better and more fun and more integrated will be much nicer for you. So as you can see, we have the wheel here and it's got all of these LEDs that are lit up on it. Um, right now it is running what we call the Scuderia theme because I'm a Lewis Hamilton fan and you know what? He's with Scuderia Ferrari. So you can change the game theme by simply saying, you know what, I'm gonna change it when I'm in a game to a different color. And then I can change the menu theme. Maybe I'm a Red Bull fan, so I wanna run the Red Bull theme. So now everything changes to match the Red Bull theme. Or maybe I wanna change it to a red and white theme, or I wanna change it to a Mercedes theme. I can change it there, I can change it to McLaren, I can change it to Aston Martin, and so forth. And he has these real life inspired themes, but maybe you don't want any of these themes. Maybe you just want the lovely theme, the magenta dawn, just maybe just red and white. And again, you'll be able to change these. And once it refreshes, you'll see this really cool idle theme that runs through and it really makes this really pop even more. So again, you get these wonderful features that will add all of this wonderful flair. And again, this is just on the home screen. So what we're gonna do is under device hub, before we can do any of that, we have to go down and you'll see devices. So as you can see here, there's a litany of different devices and features that are added from various different wheels. Right here, you're gonna see R295. Now initially it's gonna come off as you see many of these devices are and some other devices that I do have will come on. But what you'll do is you'll turn the device on and then on the left here, you'll click on it. From there, this is where you get to give it even more dialed in features than you already get. And many that most of you may want, don't know you want, and we recommend. So for example, you have your shift lights, which you can see here by clicking on a shift light, you can change what you see, what things are highlighted on here, whether you wanna see brake bias, throttle, time delta, shift lights, and so forth. You can change what you see everywhere on this wheel. For example, currently this is set if I click on this round ring here, you'll see it says no animation. Now this animation can be changed when you're in, for when you're in the game. For example, no, infer, no animation, running, pulse, blink, and absolute value. In addition, I can change it for brake bias, differential entry, front ARB, rear ARB. So again, I can map this specific encoder to have an animation when I activate something here. When I'm in the race, I can rotate it and it can do absolutely nothing. Or I can say, you know what, when I rotate it, I want it to be my fuel. 
So again, I get more fuel information right on the wheel by using ATSR Hub. I can change the color. I can have custom made colors and single colors and animated and alternating and gradients. I mean, again, a litany of different items. One of the things we think you're really going to like is, for example, this is my pit button. So what I do is I'll say, well, you know what? I'm going to click on this button here and I'm going to map this to the pit limiter. So now when I hit pit limiter, when I'm in the game, it's going to react and highlight based on me being in the pits. So if I'm in the pits and I hit pit limiter, now it's going to flash at me to let me know I'm in the pits or that I have the pit limiter on, to be honest. Now, once I leave the pits, I'm obviously going to click on the button so I can turn the pit limiter off and then it will no longer be blinking and it'll be a solid color. So you can map these things DRS. My DRS button is here. I can click on this button here where it says no data. I can click on DRS and now this will let me know because it's now using the DRS feature when I have it activated, when I do not and so forth. So you get to set a lot of these different features on these wheels. Maybe you have a button mapped here that doesn't have any of these features, but if you push it, you want it to blink. You can just say blink. So when you push the button, it blinks. So again, many of these features are really going to enhance what you do and how you do it. And again, it just brings in more immersion and just some fun into the game that we think you'll enjoy. So from there, once you've got the device selected, you've got all your features set, you're going to just return to the device hub. You can go back to home and you're all done. There are so many features in here, I won't have time to delve into each and every one of them, but we do encourage you to jump in and check out each and every one. So for myself here at VRS, we want to say thanks to Alex for this collaboration and partnership. We look forward to what he brings in the future, and we hope that you take the time to get to know all those features. All right, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. And of course, if you have questions and you need answers, please reach out to us here at VRS. As always, visit vrs.racingforge.shop to get the gear that you want. Check out our blog, hit us up on Discord, or just answer questions. Let us know what you think. Talk to you later. Peace.